Hey guys, it's Jacob here. Good morning. We're finally starting day two of the pergola build. I'm hoping to get those post bases anchored down, all four posts up, two beams, and then the remaining two very long 16 foot beams. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. so we're back here today and the first thing that I want to do is fasten down these post bases. What I'm going to do is square all four of them up and get them right in the spot that I want them. I'm going to mark these holes and then I'm going to have to use my hammer drill to drill out the concrete for the anchors. All right, I've got it all perfectly squared up. So I'm going to make marks right where those holes are for the through bolts and I'm going to start hammer drilling into this concrete. I finally got all four of these posts up. They're perfectly plumb, they're braced. They aren't braced permanently. These are obviously pretty flimsy little braces, but they're gonna be enough to hold me to where I can figure out where my tops are gonna be. Cut those off and then start moving forward, putting in some beams and putting on the rest of our metal braces. So I found my level line across between this. Um, that post is lower because of the grade, so I had to match to that post because that's our limiting factor. So everything's gonna be worked off that post. So I measured up from my level line and I made a couple cuts with the skill saw and I'm gonna finish it off with a handsaw. Now that's a nice clean cut. I love using a handsaw to finish those off. So the benefit to running off of that lower post is that I don't have to cut it. So now these two posts are level with each other we can throw on our metal bracket and start working forward from there. I'm really excited to pop this on. Boom.
Just try to come this way. Okay, we're on. Hold on, let's take a break for a sec. Get it up and rest it on the brace. I think you can get it up there. Okay, hold on. Let me readjust. You gotta come my way a little bit, actually. Like, okay. All right, let's try to drop it in. Just try to keep it square drawn. In there? Yeah. Okay, uh, before we drop it fully, I know we gotta come this way quite a bit. All right, so as you saw, I got a couple friends to come over and give me some help with the beams. Uh, they were really, really heavy, uh, 15 feet long. It's green dug fur, six by 10, so they're definitely not light. So this is our whole structure, basically. Uh, I do need to put in quite a few more lag screws, um, but I do have enough sort of at every connection that we are fully braced here now. It just looks beautiful. We are going to attempt to stain and try to match the difference between the dug fir and the cedar um, because they do end up aging at different rates and you know they're naturally different color. I've had success in the past lightly staining the dug fir and getting it to look really really close to the cedar. So we're going to try to do that on another day. All right, if you liked this video or found it at all helpful or useful to you in your work, I'd really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think. As you know, nothing's ever perfect, so I'd love to hear your insights and ideas on maybe how the design could have been different or some different features or details that we could have added. Of course, what I'm doing is just building what the client wanted, and he is a designer. The aesthetic we were going for didn't, of course, have as many flourishes as one could have. But I think once this is complete, it's going to turn out amazing, and you're going to really like it. So stay tuned for the third part of this series.